So basically today, um, I, okay, let me actually, let me turn this off. Let me turn this off so we don't piss YouTube off. All right. So, uh, basically today I went to, uh, I went to lunch with my grandpa, with my mom and his, and my grandpa's wife. And you know, that went well. I love seeing my grandpa. He's, he's great. Great dude. He's, he's helped me. Um, He's helped me a lot in my life. He's been majority, majority of the time he's been my father figure. So, you know, that went good, you know? Um, and my mom had set up a meeting with this medium for about, I don't know for how long, but, uh, it's been, you know, it's been a long time coming, like at least a month or two. Um, so, um, I just realized one second, there we go. Um, so, uh, basically we did a zoom call, which is even crazier because how accurate this shit was, was insane. Um, uh, we did, a, did it through a zoom call. You know, she, she starts it off very nice. Like, you know, how's your day? And you know, this, that, and the other, and she kind of like gives us the breakdown. Um, you know, she, she was like, do you guys have any questions or, or like, or like, what do you want to do? And my mom was like, nah, I kind of just want to see like what happens naturally. So basically she, she like looked at me and she said, uh, we're going to start with him because I have a very, I've like whoever this is on the other side really wants to talk to him. So weird. <laughs> so weird. And I was like, okay. <laughs> I was like, okay. Um, and she basically started off saying like, um, um, that I, he, he was just got straight into it. Like there was no like, Hey, this, I, this is who I am or whatever. You know what I mean? And she never told me who it was, you know what I mean? But, um, basically what he was saying was he, um, he thinks that I need to stop being so hard on myself and that, um, you know, that, um, you're an entrepreneur. I'm, I'm I did not give her any information. I did not give her any info, no information at all. So he said that you're an entrepreneur, um, and that you've been half assing, uh, what you do and that you, if you're going to do something, go all in, um, ba like it, it's a lot for me to explain because it was a lot for me to take in, you know what I mean? So, um, he basically said, he was like, you need to take, um, you need to take failure out of your vocabulary. Um, he's like, he's like, um, your ridiculousness is what makes you great. He said, you're, he said, you're smart. You're super fucking funny. Um, uh, Emily, thank you for the follow. He said, and then, and then there was like a long pause and he was like, he was like, you also need to listen to the person sitting next to you more. She has, she knows what the fuck she's talking about. She's verbatim. Like, I'm not joking. She was like, he was like cussing. So, and my mom was like, that sounds like Sean. That's my dad's name. And, um, he said, uh, you need to take a uh, failure out of your vocabulary. He said, um, and then he started like, he started like teasing me a little bit. He started teasing me a little. He was like, he was like, you need, he was like, he was like, you need to get a garage for all your shoes. And then I had, and I have more shoes in my car. And it's like, and he's like, he was like, you could, you could have a conveyor belt of shoes in the garage basically. And I was like, and he was just like, and he was just kind of like giving me shit. He goes like, he was like, I don't know. He, he basically, he was like, I don't know how people or like, I don't get why people like the shit you do, but Hey, as long, as long as you love it and you're, you're getting paid for it, then I, he's like, then go all in and stuff like that. I was like, what? Like I, I was speechless. I, I couldn't say a fucking word, dude. I'm telling you, like, I couldn't say a fucking word. And, um, 
And uh, fuck, he, oh my god, he he said something fucking good. Um, he said something so fucking good. It'll it'll come back to me. I I could also start talking about my mom. Jada, I'm posting the vod. I'm posting the vod. I, I'm I'm about halfway done. I'm about halfway there. Um, but I'll I'll, I'll go to my mom's side of the story. So. This is crazy. This this is the one that really, this is the one that really is trips me the fuck out, and that makes me think I'm like, oh, this was real deal shit, because because I didn't know my dad that well. You know what I mean? I didn't really know my dad super super well. You know what I mean? Um, but I knew my grandma pretty fucking well. Um, I I was really close with my grandma, and um, what's it called? My, my mom, she started, she, she looked at my mom and she said, oh, there's, there's a woman here that wants to talk to you. Like, and she's been trying to get a hold of you for a very long time. Uh, it, she said, she said, um, like there's like daily signs that she's been trying to give you, um, and you've been ignoring them. <laughs> I was like, oh fuck. <laughs> uh, and, um, and uh basically she said i see an older woman uh like wrinkly hands um but uh um and she's wearing this perfume and she named a, a, a an exact perfume from way back in the day and the second the medium finished her sentence i'm not even fucking kidding you my mom grabbed my leg my mom grabbed my leg and she said, that is literally the only scent that grandma would fucking wear. Literally the only scent that she wore. It was insane. It was insane. And then she starts crying. I've already, I've already fucking cried. I've, I have already cried. You know what I mean? And, um, um, and the way that this medium was talking no shit dude was sounded like my grandma like witty quick talking shit like there was no like there was no like you know you know what I mean like it was like she got straight to the point but then she also did get soft for a little bit because um my um my when my grandma passed away she was just kind of like in a different headspace she was like kind of going through things and um you know full discrepancy she was uh at the end of her life she was a drug addict and her her kidneys failed and stuff like that and um um um, 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 um but she was she was like talking shit to my to my grandma she goes or, or to my mom she was like she's like yeah, you know, she's never really been into the girly stuff. She's always wore like black colors and always wanted to hang out with the guys and her her guy cousins and you know, this that and the other. I always liked her when she liked her liked when she wore like lavenders and lilacs and pinks and stuff like that. And then um my mom was like, there's no fucking way. I my mom legit growing up was a tomboy, like like legit like she played sports. She was competitive. Like she did all that type of shit. And she hated wearing other colors other than black and gray. She like, she hung out with, um, she just like hung out with like all the rocker people and you know, this, you know what I mean? Is Kim only child? Yeah, she is. And, um, and, um, but basically at one point, my grandma started saying, Hey, this, this is her. I uh, fully believe this had to have been her. She was like, she said, I'm sorry for how hard I, w I was on you and for not understanding you more when I was there. It took me to see what living through your eyes was like. Um, and, um, and seeing how you felt and seeing what you saw and what you thought um, it, it took me to understand, it took me to get here to understand, um, how hard I was on you. And then she also, the medium brought up, uh, another, an, uh, another person who sh my grandma hung out with a lot, who was like, who like heavily influenced her. 
uh, and like she like she she loved him you know what I mean and um, she said I'm sorry I put you in situations where you were just always uncomfortable and always feeling the need to fight for me and um, and yeah basically just like apologized over and over and over and over again for a while and then she went back to talking shit again I was like, if this is, this is a hundred percent my fucking grandma, bro. I was like, what the fuck? And then, um, and then I said, um, I said something along the lines of like, I said, um, yeah, she, she really was like that. And then, and then like immediately medium said is like that. She wants you to know that she is like that. Not was like that. I was like, whoa, holy shit. I do. I get chills thinking about it, bro. And then, um, um, she also told my mom, she was like, you need to stop being so, um, you need to stop being such a yes man and telling people no doesn't mean you're a jerk or an asshole. You're, you're a fucking great human being and you've worked so hard for everything you've had. You've had nothing handed to you. you you're the str one of the strongest people I know. And I want you to know that there's no one in this world that has ever loved you more than I did or than, than I do. Sorry. And I was like, Whoa, I was like, Holy shit. That is crazy. And then, um, and then, uh, she asked my mom, the medium asked my mom, she's like, you're dating someone new, right? I'm telling you no context. There is no context. We did not tell the medium anything beforehand nothing beforehand and my mom says yeah i am dating someone new and um the medium goes she wants you to know that this this one is very special and not to fuck it up <laughs> she said don't fuck this one up she said don't fuck this one up uh, he, he's the one that you need. He's the one, you know, because th this guy, I, I'm from what I've heard, he's really solid. Um, I'm not going to get too into what he does, but he like trains high level, like special op type of people. You know what I mean? He like, he's very like, I go to the gym, I take care of my kids. You know, I'm very, he's very straightforward, very, you know what I mean? Like he, he doesn't fuck around basically. And like, he, he's not an ex convict like my mom's, uh, track record. Not trying to throw my mom under the bus or anything, but my mom has a track record of, of dating ex convicts. Um, and, um, what's it called? Uh, Thesa, Thesa W Knight. Thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Um, and uh what's it called she said she said it might get boring here and there but trust me don't don't feed into all the negativity that you might be thinking um because this is the one like she's like this is the one you need like like don't don't fucking um don't you know don't fuck this up basically um, but yeah, the, the thing with my dad was crazy. It, it felt the way it felt with my dad was, it felt like he was giving me a whole book of life lessons in 15 minutes. Um, like he, like, he was like, he was like grilling. Like it wasn't like, it wasn't like here and there. It was so fast. I'm like it. And like, he was saying like, he's like, he's, he's like, I understand how empathetic you are. And like, it's what it helps you. It, it like, that's what also makes you so great and stuff like that. But he was like, also don't, don't be afraid to like put yourself first and like stuff like that. And I was just like, he was just, it was just like, it was just so rapid and it was just like explaining my life perfectly. Like he, he even went into explaining, he was like, I know you have ADHD and like, I know like you get distracted from like the main goal of things, but he was like, trust me, the end of 2023 and the beginning of 2024 is going to be the best years of your life. Like it's going to change everything for you. Um, 
um he was like he's like don't don't be afraid to go all in he's like you're never gonna live under a bridge you're never gonna live in a cardboard box he's like you 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 have an amazing support system he said oh oh this is what also got me was i was um when i have road rage i do this thing i'll i'll, I'll i drive like this when I have road rage, I, 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 I do one of the, I do these every single time, like it without, and I caught myself doing it today without even thinking about it. I just, I just do. I, and then the medium was like, so you do this thing when you're driving where your thumb goes up and you just get super pissed off at whoever's driving. He said, he said that it's hard work watching and watching over you every single day. <laughs> He said he said it's hard work watching over you every single day <laughs> i was like whoa bruh uh uh and apparently in my i and then i called my grandma on my dad's side and i was telling him or i was telling her all of all of this and the medium kept saying he's he kept or she kept saying these two are so funny together. They're so funny together. Like she would just start dying laughing out of nowhere. They're just so funny. And I told my grandma that and she goes like, oh my God, you have no idea. Like your grandma was the only per like the only person who didn't give Sean shit at all. Like they loved each other. Like he adored her and she adored him and like, just like and i was just like dude they were like bouncing off of each other like it was crazy it was crazy because like i'm not joking because like i didn't know i didn't know my dad i didn't know my dad too too well you know what i mean so like i didn't i don't really know his personality all that well so i have to like i have to get information from other people to to validate um some of those some of those actions and you know things like that and they're like, they're, you know, when I told my grandma all of that, he, she was like, that's a hundred percent your dad. Like there's no ifs, ands or buts. He was, he was sweet, but he also fucked with people, you know, like in a, in a joking manner. And he was also like, really like, like stern with the way he talked. If he like really wanted to get a point across. Um, and, um, I think next time I do this, I think I'm going to do, um, I'm going to do it by myself because I want, and I'm going to do an hour long. Um, cause we only did 30 minutes for both of us. So I'm going to do it by myself in an hour long. And I want to see who comes in. Cause now I'm like, I'm like, Whoa, dude. I'm so, uh, it blew my fucking mind, bro. Like, like I, 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 I truly can't believe it because like it's just like this the first of all the perfume thing for my grandma was insane like though I'm not joking you should have seen my mom's fucking reaction when she was like she like grabbed my knee like grabbed the fuck out of my knee and she goes like that was the only fucking perfume grandma wore like that was that was it that was the only one she wanted to wear that was the only one she liked I was like what the fuck So, yeah, that's pretty much it. It was only a 30 minute conversation and, um, was it white diamonds? I don't remember. I don't remember the scent. I don't, I don't remember the scent, but my mom, it, it was like, it was from like way back in the day from like way back in the day. Oh, oh, oh my God. She asked my mom about a specific ring, a specific ring that she left behind that she wanted my my mom to have and she she described it perfectly a gold ring with uh like a square diamond in the middle and then like two diamonds next to it and she was like what happened to it she's like i, I she's like what happened to that ring I, I i don't know where it's at she's like i left it and she's like i so my grandma had a dresser with a mirror on it and it had like a little like jewelry box type of thing She's like, I left it on the cabinet with the mirror and, and the jewelry box. 
crazy as fuck. Crazy as fuck. And um, what's it called? My 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 mom was dating someone at the time who took all of the jewelry and sold it to a fucking pawn shop. Um, and my mom said, Oh, that got stolen from my got stolen from one of my exes. And then, and then the instantly right after she said that instantly right after she said that she goes, he's always been an asshole. I was like, Whoa, I was like, what the fuck? Fucking crazy. My grandma would be talking shit, bro. <laughs> that woman don't, she be talking that talk. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And she, oh, and she told, she told my mom to stop saying that she's too old for this shit. She was like, she's like, you got to stop saying you're too old to do something because it's just not true. You're so strong and like you can do anything that you set your mind to. You've proven it to yourself over and over and over again. You got to stop saying you're too old to be doing stuff. She's like, you, you're too amazing to be talking to yourself like that. I was like, damn. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the story time. And, um, yeah, it was good. It was really good. I, it was a lot to take in though. I, I did not expect it to be that accurate. I was like kind of worried. I was like, damn, what if it's bullshit? You know what I mean? But it was really good. It was really good. Uh, yeah, my mom, my mom, uh, my mom found, I, I don't have the information I can ask. I'll ask my mom real quick. Of course, of course I had, I mean, I have to, I I've had to, um, you know, I, I couldn't wait to get on here and tell you guys, honestly, I, 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 you know, Father's Day is usually a weird fucking day, but he, what, I mean, when he told me, he was just like, you're half-assing it. You need to be going all in. I was just like, I've, I've felt that, you know what I mean? I've genuinely felt that like within myself, you know what I mean? And like, I, I, and I know a lot of people don't think that, you know what I mean? Like, I know like a lot of you guys don't think I'm like half-assing it or, you know, like I, and just to hear it from, you know, him, I guess, you know, was kind of like, I've already, I've already felt it, but it's like opened up a whole new, it's like opened up a whole new thing for me. You know what I mean? So I'm like, I'm like ready to like, like I couldn't wait to get back here and get on stream and film and, you know, get shit going again because I was just like, I, I have to, I have to keep fucking doing this and um i just i just feel really fucking good you know i just feel really fucking good i fucking cried on the way home dude i was crying bro oh my god I confirmed what you're feeling a hundred percent a hundred percent i and it's the first uh it's the first father's day where i got to talk to my dad since i was six so, you know, uh, that was, that was, um, that was really cool. And, uh, to have him know, or to have him let me know those types of things, you know what I mean? Was, was really cool. You know what I mean? So, um, uh, and it, and doing it today was completely unplanned chat like dead ass we didn't i didn't even know it was father's day i don't think my mom did either she just she just booked it because that, that was the next available day this this medium apparently is like booked like overbooked and um and um yeah that that it just happened to fall on today which is so fucking weird it is so weird. 
it's even more weird now that we think about it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, of what, what are the odds it landed on Father's Day? You know what I mean? Like, that is so, so wild. Um, but yeah, I, I, I definitely cried a lot today, but, uh, I feel clear right now. I just have a, a lot of, a lot of clearness in my mind today. You know what I mean? So, um, I know not everyone is open to the idea. So if you got, but I, I do want to say that if you are going to do this, make sure the reviews are really good. I mean, like she told me shit. She said shit that she wouldn't know. Like she just would not know this information. You know what I mean? Like Lauren, I think I have gotten signs from him because my mom, when she was doing the reading on my mom or whatever, she was like, she's been trying to get in contact with you every fucking day, some way, shape or form. You know what I mean? And she was like, you've just been ignoring it. And she's pissed. She's mad at you. I was like, damn. Damn. Um, but I, I didn't have any questions to ask. I had no questions to ask. I was literally blown away the entire time. I was so blown away the entire time. I was like, this is insane. Like, this is so insane. Um, yeah, she's pissed. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, for real. Like it was just a crazy experience. Talk to him on the regular, man. I bet you already do. Sounds like the experience validates that he's always listening. Thanks for sharing with us too, man. Of course. I think, I, I mean, yeah, I, I don't talk to him as often and I've been making bad jokes lately. I'm sure he's, he didn't bring that up, but maybe that's why he was teasing me so hard. He was going in on me a little bit. I was like, all right, motherfucker, let's tone it down a little. It's fucking father's day. All right. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've been making, uh, he, he was going, he was grilling my ass, bro. He was grilling my ass for a little bit. I don't even remember what he's, what he was saying, but I think if you are going to do it, definitely find someone with, uh, like good, like a good rep. And, um, I say, do it. I, I, I feel like you got nothing to lose. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. And I, it, once I get the information I, uh, from my mom about, um, you know, who she is and how to book through her and stuff like that, I will definitely, I'm more than willing to share it because, um, um, I'm telling you, she told me, she told me shit that I have never, I've never told anyone else or like, you know, like I, there's just no way she would know. There's just absolutely no way that she would know. You know what I mean? Thank you, Otter. Appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I've seen a medium before and it was a great experience. Made me cry my eyes out after. Yeah, it's great. I was crying during, I was just insane. I definitely want to do it. My dad passed away almost two years ago and I feel like I've gotten no signs or anything since I feel I, I, I'm telling you, you're probably missing them, like unintentionally missing them. You know what I mean? Uh, Kareen, hello, hello, hello. How you doing? How you down? Of course. Uh, this honestly inspires me to do something like this. Thank you for opening up about it and sharing it with us. Happy for you. Thank you, Kendra. I appreciate that. Um, uh, I can tell that you feel comforted, comforted and relieved, TBH, like you've been carrying a weight over your shoulders of unanswered questions that you received today. I think you really needed this. I'm so happy. Thank you, Jada. I think so too. I think so too. It was, it was a great experience for sure. Cause, um, I mean, I, on a, I didn't really get like a lot of questions answered, but what did happen was I felt, I felt like I just had a, like, I just felt like I had a dad, you know what I mean? Like I, I felt like I felt like I, I had, like, I just had him there. You know what I mean? Like I, 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 I don't know how, how else to explain it. I just felt like he was like, he was just like doing what a dad would normally do in person. Like he was just telling me, like he was just giving me life advice and like, and just like telling me like, 
it's going to be okay. Like you're going to be okay. Like you don't have to worry about anything. Just go all in and, and do your fucking thing. Basically. You know what I mean? And I was just like fucking crazy, man. But yeah, next time I do it, I definitely want to do it by myself and, um, you know, see who else comes. I, I was, I was hoping to see Corey, but I also had no expectations. You know what I mean? I also had no expectations and I'm assuming, you know, today it's father's day and, um, and he was really trying, you know, he, he you know, it, Corey was probably there, but probably being like extremely respectful. You know what I mean? Have you ever experienced any supernatural things before? Like weird specific dreams or things moving could be signs. Um, no, I think my signs are more like, uh, like numbers, you know what I mean? Um, you know, uh, I think I've been seeing 22 everywhere. And this is also, this also validates what was said today. So I'm going to look watch 22 angel number meaning. So remember what I said was my dad was, he was saying like, he's like, you're on the right path. Go all in. You know what I mean? You're what you're doing is the right thing, right? I've been seeing 22 everywhere. I am not joking. I've been seeing it everywhere. My, my in and out receipt, um, uh, like 22 minutes, 22 minutes into something. Like I paused it on something. There's 22 minutes. Like I've been seeing 22 fucking everywhere. Continually seeing 22 is a strong message that you are on the correct path for your soul mission. This number sequence shows up when the opportunity does not just knock, but presents itself in an obvious way in everyday life. If you see this angel number, it's a divine message. I'm telling you, bro. I, I, I swear, like, I don't know. I, 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 I think my, my signs come in numbers or, or other things. Like, I think like, when butterflies fly past me, I think it's like Corey or when I see a uh, dude, a blue ice cream truck drove past the fucking house. We have not had a, an ice cream truck in this neighborhood for a day. Not a single fucking day. No, no shit. Not, not once since we've moved in here. Not once. And then out of nowhere on a gloomy summer day, a gloomy summer day there was a blue ice cream truck in our neighborhood it's just it, those to me those are signs you know what i mean like that it, it's fucking crazy dude you know what i mean but yeah i want to i want to do that again by myself and see what the fuck happens you know what i mean oh dude i'm sore but Sorry, sorry. <laughs> sorry to just drastically change the, the the thing. I was also close to my gram and she would also tell me when she passes she'll she'll mess with me. Oh my god, yes! Bro, guys, oh my god! Lights the lights flickering thing. That is so true. It is a thing it's a thing. Like if your phone starts glitching, bro, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. You guys know my fucking lights flicker all the time. These are the only two fucking lights that flicker. These are the only two lights that flicker. It's crazy. She was like, she was like, if you're experiencing that, like, trust me, it's them. Like, yes, 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 yeah, dude, it's crazy. It's fucking crazy. Uh, did it? No, it happens all the time. It, ha it literally, did they just flick? No, they, they don't just flicker. They, they didn't just flicker. My lights are like completely off, but yeah, yeah, yeah. These lights flicker all the time. Why did it look like they just flickered? It's possible. It is a possibility. No, they did. They did something on the screen flickered. What? Are y'all dead ass? Hey, um, what's doing it? 
What's flickering? That's crazy. It was like a reddish tint. That's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> That's fucking wild, dude. Oh, it's the camera. It is the camera. You're talking about that bottom right thing. I, I think I know what you're talking about. It's I think it's the lighting. I'm pretty sure it's the lighting. Hold on. Let me let me let me open it, this up. I, I know what you guys are talking about. I think I know what you're talking y'all are talking about. Let me open Oh, wow. Hello, son. How are you doing? Ugh. It hasn't happened though until you said that. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. That was like a flash. I don't know. I don't know, chat. Um, sorry, I'm getting more information about uh, the medium so I can I can uh, tell you guys how to do it and stuff like that. I'm also going to order food. I'm starving. Um, Shelby, I'm going to be. Oh, okay. My mom's friend. Okay. I I'll get more information on that and I'll drop it in chat as soon as I can. Um, but she got that booking through one of her friends. So she's, she doesn't have like all the information. Um, okay, cool. And Kian said about you today, it was so sweet. It felt like you needed to hear it. I did not get to hear it today. I didn't get, he said you're a, a big teddy bear and you smell great. I smell great? Ah. Thanks, Kian. Thanks. Send me a clip of that, bro. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm going to use that against him forever. <laughs> you said, no, he said you're his home and you bring him peace. What? Dead ass chat. Send the clip. I, I don't, I didn't want to cry today, but I'll cry right now he feels protected when around you dead ass bro stop it tag me on twitter where Let's see yeah uh, I think it's on the kitchen counter. You got it? Wait. I don't... I don't see it. Oh my God. Okay. Here it is. If you have ever been around Dill, if you have ever had the pleasure to be around Dill, he's a big old fucking teddy bear. He smells nice. I think he's so calm and like his personality is so calm. And for that energy to be around my baby boy, I think I would, that's just, that's just the deciding factor who is like, that made me think like if my baby was around Dill or Christian, Dill, they're, they're all great guys, but Dill just has that energy where he's just like, huh, you can kind of like, huh, just like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. You're just like, huh, okay, I'm safe. I'm around Dill. I think I would want that for my baby boy. So I think that just that little, that, that little detail, I'm going to put him above Christian. Christian is great guy. Great, 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 great. He's an A tier. Come on, baby. He's an A tier. But for a newborn, I think Christian has a lot of energy. 
if you have ever been around Dylan, That was that was great. Oh uh, man. Hey guys. You need to you need to hear that every now and then, you know what I mean? Um That is that uh you know, I I feel the same way towards Kean, man. He's obviously extremely energetic and chaotic, but um I you know, if I if I know Kean's going to be there, I know that you know, I just, I'm just going to hundred percent have a person to fucking connect with. You know what I mean? And, um, Keen's a great fucking dude, man. As uh, you, you guys see the funny sides of him and the, how crazy he is. But when Kean means business, bro, he, he, he changes his whole demeanor. And, um, I, I really appreciate what Kean stands for as a, as a person. And, um, you know, what is my fucking neighbor looking at? Fucking weirdo. Go in your house. Shoo shoo. Um, but yeah, he he's what he stands for and like what he thinks is wrong, he's gonna let you know. You know what I mean? And I think that's a really good value like a, a good thing to have in a person, and I don't think that, you know, it's that it's not happening, you know, it it, it people just let shit slide, but if Kian thinks you're in the wrong, he's going to fucking let you know. And I think, I think, um, his integrity is just really fucking really, really, really strong. And, um, there's not too much of that going around these days. You know what I mean? So I always appreciate, you know, being around Kian and one of the funniest motherfuckers ever, bro. Th that man can make you laugh like nobody's business. That dude is so fucking funny, bro. <laughs> he's, so, he's so funny, dude. Um, but yeah, man, I, I really fucking appreciate that. That is crazy. Um, I've never, I never knew that. 